Hi, welcome. This is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina. I am the mommy. Welcome. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I'd like to thank you all for coming and hanging out with us today. Today is Advent Day 15. I can almost, I, I, I just, I cannot believe we're, we're like halfway through the month already, guys. Um, and it's also themed Thursday. So, I'd like to welcome you to our nursery today. And I'd like to say, if you're hearing rain, it's because it's raining. It has been raining um, all morning. We actually had ice this morning, so I am thanking God for... For my husband's vacation <laughs> um, it was pretty icy this morning when he would have had to go to work so I am thanking God that he didn't have to go because they did not enact the inclement weather policy sometimes I think that's a joke but Jeremiah is having a great time having both mommy and daddy um, as a matter of fact this morning he got us up before six o'clock in the morning um, he got my husband up first. My husband actually got up first. He was actually getting me up. Um, <clears throat> and when I wouldn't come out here to the living room, Jeremiah was whining at the door. So I had to get out of bed. So I have been up for more than a few hours, guys. Um, I will say that it started out as freezing rain here. And when we got up, it was freezing rain. And now it is just plain rain. So thank you, God. <laughs> Um, so that's a good thing, but just like I said, today is Advent Day 15. I have, honey, I have Mariah with me today. Mariah decided she wanted to see the Christmas tree, didn't you, sweet girl? Yes, mommy, I like the Christmas tree. Oh, would you like to come over and help mommy with the, with the Advent devotional today? Okay, mommy. Okay, so Mariah, as you can see, is wearing this shirt with, today is theme Thursday. From Yvonne at Having You On, we would like to thank her for this theme and for our treat shirt. And so we have a candy cane treat, um, treat shirt here that says, My First Christmas. It's got the, as you can see, it's red and white. And it's got the green bow with the white polka dots. And, of course, it has, like, glimmery stuff here on the sleeves and tulle. And it's got red and white. And it's got the green. It's like a tutu type shirt. I love this shirt. It's white. Um, and then it's got the tie in the back. Okay. And she has on her bundles jeans with the little ruffles on the bum. Can you see the ruffles, dear? Not Sorry, really. my husband is holding the camera, guys. Um, which is allowing me to do this. And, of course, she has on her Carter sneakers. And her red and white candy cane looking headband. I like this headband, Mommy. I know you do, sweetheart. Come on. We'll go over here. Your lovey's over here. <laughs> we'll go over here. Come on. I'll put you up on a sofa. Okay, Mommy. Okay, you going to help Mommy do the devotional today? Yes, Mommy. You want your snow doggy? Yes, Mommy, I want my snow doggy. I'm going to help you do the devotional. You want to get us doing the devotional, dear? You're going to have to move over here. You're going to have to get up and move with the camera. <laughs> do you have me in there? Yeah. Do you have us? Sorry, I'm talking to my husband, guys, while I'm trying to do this. <coughs> oh, he's trying to videotape. So hopefully, you've got both of us? Okay. Today, the, of course, we are doing out of a devotion a day until Christmas. This is our Advent devotional, guys. Um, and today's devotion is the Christmas tree. How fitting. Miss Mariah wanted to see the Christmas tree. And today, it's the Christmas tree devotional. So we're going to read all about the Christmas tree today, Miss Mariah. Okay, Mommy. I like the Christmas tree all lit up with all the colors. I know you do, sweetheart. 
But I'm going to read the devotional now about the Christmas tree, okay? Um, as you see, I'm using a magnifying glass. I have, since I have problems with my eyes, and I can, I can see better with this magnifying glass. I actually use this. This stays in my Bible, and I use this when I do my devotional. Even though I have, I have like the giant print Bible. I guess the biggest print you can get now, um, Bible, but this really helps. So I'm going to use this to read the devo to read the devotional, guys. It's especially fitting that the tree we we choose for our Christmas tree is the evergreen, because just as the fir and pine trees are always green for as long as they grow, Christ's love for us never changes, and is always there. There's a wonderful story about how the evergreen was chosen for the Christmas tree. Legend tells us, now this is just a legend guys, it's not, you know, that when the Christ child was born, not only did the shepherds and the wise men come to worship him, but the birds, the beast, and even the plants came too. Each visitor had a gift for the blessed baby except the little pine tree. It had nothing to give except its needles. And since the needles might prick the baby and hurt him, that wasn't acceptable at all. According to the legend, God saw how disappointed the little, the little tree was. And he told some of the stars in heaven to go down and rest on the branches. When they did, the little tree was illuminated with so many bright lights that the Christ child immediately noticed it and reached out his arms to, to it. The story tells us that from the time, from that time forth, the little pine tree always bears the lights all Christmas time, at Christmas time, in memory of the night. It gave such pleasure to baby, to the baby Jesus. The verse is, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 20. Hebrews 13, 8. New International Version. This is a prayer for today, guys. Dear Jesus, you have shown us again and again that your love for us will never change. Just as Christ the Christmas tree is evergreen, you are ever true to your promises to us. We praise your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Christ never loved. Christ's love never changes, guys. No matter what happens, no matter where we are, His love for us will never, ever change. And that's a promise because Christ never changes. Just like the evergreen never changes color. Um, you know, and never changes with the seasons. Neither does Jesus. The different seasons of our lives we go through, Jesus is a steadfast rock. He never, ever changes. And, of course, we put lights on our Christmas tree as a result of because Jesus is the light of the world. So as you can see, our Christmas trees have lights as a result of Jesus being the light of the world. And I want to show you a very special decoration that I've had in my house for probably 20 years. It's about, it's the Christmas tree, guys. And it actually plays, I want you guys to see this, I want you guys to hear this. Jeremiah's just laying over there. He's like, uh oh. Look at that. Can you got do you have that dear? This was actually gotten for me by my mother in law, guys. The Christmas one year, like twenty some years ago. And I have put it out ever since. This has not missed a Christmas in my house.
and it still to this day plays music and it's like over 20 years old. I'd like you guys to look at your Christmas trees. Well, that keeps playing. And look at the green and the lights, just as Jesus is the light of the world. We put tree, we put lights on an evergreen, which never changes, and Jesus never changes, and his love for us never changes. Jesus' love is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he loves us so much that the love that he had in his heart the day he died on the, the day he was born and the day he died on the cross and he rose again is the same love he has for us today. No matter where we've been, no matter what we've done, we can look at our Christmas tree and we can say thank you, Lord, for your love for us because it never changes. And his promise, they never change. The world may change, guys, but God doesn't. And our Christmas tree is the perfect the perfect symbol, or shall I say, as my devotional is saying, my devotional, not the Advent devotional, guys. This is a trinket to treasure. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. I would like to thank all of my subscribers my new subscribers and my old subscribers, I would like to thank you all. Um, and I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.